Yeah, that's sad. Uh, Are you excited? Are you videotaping? Yes, I'm excited. Oh my gosh, stop. In South Case? No, no, North Case. North Case? We're in North Case. Destination is on your left, 842 Chestnut Road. We can keep going. We can keep going if you want. That's okay. You want to go? There's a time machine right up here. We can get in and go back. Ah, the parents chuckle. We are back with more of our fabulous college special. And Jeep, we just watched that video of you dropping your daughter off at MSU. I kind of felt that anxiety with you with We Can Turn Back. When you watch that, how do you feel? Well, I'm glad I wasn't filming myself because I had tears <laughs> coming down my eyes. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a, it was a long trip down there, and uh, I kept thinking about uh, all those years, the 18 years behind us, and what we had coming ahead of us. And um, I was excited for her. But yes, it is a bittersweet uh, to drop off your daughter and say goodbye. Yes. It's Do you feel like your life has changed dramatically in five months? Uh, dramatically, no. The house is a lot quieter. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Uh, we have a, she has a brother at home too, and uh, he's kind of everything's on him now. Yeah, so that that dichotomy has come to the household. We have one child now instead of two, and yeah, it's cut in half. And uh, and she was a little uh, she made noise around the house. Yeah. And now we don't have that. So, so it's yeah, definitely so it's a little quiet. Yes. Yeah, so. All right. So Melissa, you moved your oldest daughter down to Olivet Nazarene in Illinois. Tell me a little bit about your anxiety and just feeling like maybe you're the first person to ever experience all this and just the weirdness of it all. Well, I mean, there's always anxiety with anything new and I knew that Lauren was really excited and so that kind of helps you not be so anxious because she wasn't um, nervous or fearful at all. You know, I've talked to other parents who've had fearful children and that's a whole other ball game. And so I'm, I'm grateful that she wasn't upset about it. But it's weird because we live in this day and age where you're so connected to everybody all the time. And um, so I'm just assuming I'm going to be connected like that. And it's, it's, you know, it's the wrong assumption. You don't, you know, she's not calling me every 20 day minutes, or even every week. <laughs> and, and you're kind of like, well, I wonder how things are going. And you kind of just have to live and um, realize that, you know, if she needs something, she'll give you a call and, and try not to be too, so what's going on? <laughs> so yeah, it is, a, it's a weird, um, it's a weird normal to get used to. Mm -hmm. so. You know, Pam, I'm sure that there are a lot of people watching tonight who are like, oh my goodness, I can't imagine getting to that point. You recently brought your son out to college in Iowa. Um, what advice would you give to folks watching who are, you know, we're, like they said, bittersweet and you're excited, but you're also so sad. I mean, what would you, what would you say to other parents who are psyching up for this next phase of life? I think what I would probably say is um, just it's okay um, because look at it from their perspective. It's it's it is an adventure for them. It is something brand new. Um, maybe think back to what if you went to college. What you're giving your child now, if you um, it's a whole different you know than when we went to college. But but you're giving them something brand new. Um, you're giving them a whole new um, outlook on life. You're helping them get to that adult p part of life that you wanted them to and, and, and beyond. So it, it's it's difficult to get to get used to it like everybody was saying, but it's also a good thing. Good. So it is. It's Again, it's mm -hmm. mixed emotions. It is with mixed emotions. All right. Well, we've brought the students back and it's time to play a little game. Are you ready for some true or false? All right. So parents, we have a question and we would like you to simply answer true or false and then we'll get the uh, take from the students. So let's take a peek at our very first question. We'll have it up on the big wall here for us. My child washed their sheets since they moved into the dorm. So it's been about five months. True <laughs> or false, do you think your child has actually washed the bedding? Let's put it up there and take a look at what our parents are saying. <laughs> All right, so Annie, your dad doesn't think you've washed your sheets. Have you washed your sheets? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job, Jeep. But I, I'm right there with you. You never know. You never know. I'm glad to hear that. Because did they ever wash their sheets at home? That's the real question. You know, when they were growing up? No. All right, so you say true. Oh, absolutely. Lauren, what do you think? I think that's true. <laughs> yeah. You think? I'm positive it's true. Oh, good girls. So, Mom, you taught her well. Nice job. All right, Pam, you have false. I have false. You have false. Mm -hmm. It is all. It is false. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> so I think maybe you might be the only kid telling us the truth. All right, let's take a look at our next big question. We'll move down the line. Our next question. My child comprehends how much debt they will have accumulated after graduation. 
true or false? Oh, look at you. All right. So, Annie, do you, like, get how much you're going to owe when you graduate? Yes, I know. I'll have to pay some stuff off. Has your dad been talking a lot to you about that? Yes, both my parents have educated me well about that. Does it make you nervous or nope. not at all? <laughs> no, it makes me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes dad nervous, huh, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> all right, so you have true. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Um, I, I know that I owe, I will owe things at the end of school, but I don't think I understand the gravity of it yet mm -hmm. until I'm actually happy. Because is there really that. any difference between $4,000 and $40,000 at this point in your life? Not really, no. No, no, because, yeah, it's a lot of money, all right? Yeah. Mom, you're down here with a, a false. Yeah. Yeah, so what are you thinking? Well, when Andrew went to school, I told him not to worry about the money at this point. All right, why I do would, we say things like I that? Would, I would take care of figuring out everything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when we needed to talk to him about something, we would. So as far as him comprehending the whole thing, probably not yet. Do you agree? A, a little bit, yeah. Like we we have a spreadsheet that she's uh, she's gone through and made it, and we've we've talked about it and explained a lot mm -hmm. of things. But I understand I'm gonna have to owe a fair amount. I just don't know like what it lot. really yeah. means. Yeah. Is it a car? Is it a house? We're not sure yeah. how much it really yeah. is. All right, let's take a look at our next question. My child calls and texts me plenty. <laughs> True or false? Parents, what do we have? Seriously, look at our parent reply. Our parents feel really good about the communication happening with the kids. So none of you want them to call or text any more than they do. In the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so kids, you're doing good on that one. Very good. Let's take a look at our final question. Our final question is, my child has changed a lot from the senior year of high school until now. True or false? Again, parents across the board saying true. I would like to know, Annie, how do you think you've changed the most? Each of you one sentence. I think I've grown up a lot since senior year. Mm -hmm. Do you feel it? Do you feel yeah, different? Yeah, I feel like just my mindset and how I look at things, I just feel more grown up now. Mm -hmm. All right. Lauren? Um, I feel a lot more responsible because all the weight is on my shoulders and I'm responsible for everything that I had to do at school. Yep. And Andrew? I feel a lot, uh, also a lot more responsible and also like just competent that I can do this, you know? Isn't that great? Yeah. Parents, I am so proud of you guys. You've done a great job. We have outstanding students here. And kids, good job. <laughs> Round of applause for everybody. You're all awesome. Nice work. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good game playing. And keep washing your sheets. All right, <laughs> next, down where you live, we're sitting down with a representative from Ferris State University to give us a heads up on what to expect next when we come back.